in this video, I just want to give a brief overview that how the research gate score was calculated before 2022 and after 2022. Uh, if you look into my score, uh, when I recorded a, a video uh, on research gate, so in that time my score was 29.91. And look, my score is now 711.9. So this 29.91 score was basically comes from publication. The, the most contribution was from publication. And here it is from citation now. If you have a lot of publications, for example, if you have 100 publications, but if you have very few citations, so this means that your work is not valuable work because people are not citing it. So your research score is, will be low because research gate is particularly for researcher. So the second factor which contributed to the score was questions. For example, in research gate, people ask questions. So you see, I asked a lot of questions. So 13%, almost 14%, uh, this score comes from my questions and here is no question at all and here also answers also play a lot because I was the beginning I, I, I was a fresh researcher so I answered few questions so I also uh, my score also comes from answers but here is no answer here contribution and also followers for example researchers following you so it will also increase your score but here is uh, no such kind of things if you look here, so the major contribution from citation, the, the other factor is recommendation because people recommending your work. And another very, very important parameter is the full text rate. The full text rate, is, you see here, my score is 15% comes from full text rate. And other reads, this means this mean that if just somebody open your article or just read the abstract or something, not full reads, so the score comes from here. Look at here, this one, people call it research gate score here, this one. And now this one is now called people research interest score. You see here? So now let me go into the uh, website basically. You see here, my score is basically now uh, 711.9. And it is now, the, this score basically comes from these parameters. You see here? And the, another very, very important thing is basically, uh, if you want to see here, uh, that how your work is growing with the passage of time so uh, you can also see here that you see here this is people read here 100 reads here you see so the research uh, interest score was here this citation no citation here i got one citation here in 31st july so this is now such a great tool so that you can analyze like analytical tool in youtube and other uh, uh, websites so you can see here uh, pull text reads three here. If you look here, so I got two citations here. So when I got two citations, so my research interest score increase here. You see, so here I got one citation, so my research interest score is less here. You see here, similarly here is no citations. If you look here, no citations. If you look here, no citations. So research score is not increasing. Here I got three citations on 24 July. So my research score, interest score is increase, right? And another very interesting parameter here. Uh, research gate score was also compared with other uh, research gate members. Here you can see here, this one is also most similar. Uh, your research interest score, there, there they mention your research gate score is higher than 91% of research gate member. Compared by date of first publication, you see here, this is another uh, parameter. And if you look here uh, in material chemistry, and here you can also change uh, other, for example, material. Now it is 86% here, you will see here, if I change this to material science, you will see here, it is again 86 here, you see here, 87 now, you see here, so in this field I am a little bit uh, more uh, powerful. If you click in nanotechnology, so there is, uh, again I came to uh, 86 here, you see here, uh, let's see here, material physics here, so again 87. So you see here, these parameters are changing, you want to compare yourself uh, with other researchers, so the, here are so many uh, parameters, right. And as I, as I mentioned here, that uh, previously, uh, for example, my score was 29. So my professor has uh, almost 100 times more citations. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, his score was a little bit higher than me, mine. But now my score is not even 1,000. And if I uh, show you uh, his score, 
So you will amaze that his score is far higher than uh, my, mine. His score is almost 7,000, you see here. Mine is in three digits and now his score is in uh, 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 four digits. And this also shows you the citation over the time here. You see here that per year from 2016. So you see here it also shows uh, the graph here, uh, uh, the citations in terms of a graph, right? So this was all about the uh, comparison between uh, research gate score uh, before and uh, after, right?